All right, you guys, we are on the Forest Service Road 2 and 10, and we just got to the very end of how far they'll let us go because of the fires last year. So if you want to watch the video driving back without nearly as much commentary and us talking, enjoying ourselves, getting scared and stuff, then fast forward to about one hour and 37 minutes. Um, please like, subscribe for us. Obviously, we want to earn it, so, um, you know, watch some of the video, and uh, if you feel like we have earned it, then please, please do that for us. Hook us up. We'd appreciate it. In the meantime, hope you have a wonderful day. Rachel and I love you all very much. Again, like, subscribe, share, and uh, yeah, we are on the Forest Service Road 2N10. Fast forward to about one hour and 37 minutes for the drive back without as much commentary. And the drive to and fro are gonna look completely different because we're going completely different directions. So the views are, are even though it's nighttime, it's, it, it'll be way different. It'll feel like two different roads. Anyway, thanks guys, I love you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Well, wonderful evening to all my friends and family on the channel. How you guys doing? Um, I was gonna say it's me, <laughs> but you guys know who this is. Um, it's me and my beautiful wife. Say hi, baby. Hi, guys. So we are gonna go take you guys on a ghostly adventure right now. Um, I've always been really tripped out on this road at nighttime, and it's always scared me. Um, so I'm excited to go check it out. We're gonna take the 2N10. We're gonna go like deep into the forest, behind Snow Summit and whatnot, and we're gonna go as far as we can because the road was gonna be closed, uh, or part of it closed because of the fires we had uh, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. So I just want you guys to see how to get there. There's two different ways to get there. You can go in at either end, but I think one of the sides is, as I said, closed. So we're gonna take it as far as we can go. But I thought you guys would enjoy it. We're not too far, that's why I thought I would show you the video from here so you know how to get there. So you guys can take this road yourself. This is the first time I've been on it this year, so I'm super excited. I hiked across it when I went on the Pine Knot Trail with Ray. That seven mile round trip hike that destroyed me, but it's all good. It was a good hike, it was fun. So we are in the village. A little Indian food update, you guys. So we've been going to that place, Masala Craft, right there for Indian food. Um, I've, I haven't given Himalayan an opportunity yet. I don't know why, but I finally did last night. And uh, uh, guys, this is just a subjective opinion, but I prefer the Him the Himalayan for sure. If I recall, it, it was maybe like a touch more expensive, but as far as I'm concerned, it was worth it. It was worth it. Hey babe, can you put that somewhere where I don't forget it? That's my blood pressure information. But yeah, guys, I'm getting old. I gotta. Like document my blood pressure every day and stuff like that because I'm newly officially diagnosed with hypertension. So, man. Here's, here's our new Tesla charging station. So I knew we had other areas in this town that have charging stations, but anytime I would I, 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 I'd show up, they weren't working. So my assumption was that they just we didn't have anything because they weren't working. But couple people kind of put me in my place they're like that's not the only one so I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm telling I'm giving you guys the right information it's it's really important there's a lot of Teslas that cruise up here maybe someday I'll be lucky enough to have a Tesla hard work pays off okay so we're on Big Bear Boulevard off of Mill Creek. The other entrance is off of, uh, you just take Club View over in Moon Ridge all the way till it dead ends at the top and you'll run right in to the gate that lets you into the, to the scary part of the wilderness. And there's been an awful lot of bear sightings recently so I'm, I'm hoping we'll get lucky and catch something up here. Even though we got so lucky and I got to see one in front of my house, that was cool. I think that was the last video we did. But yeah, we are on Mill Creek. Let me zoom in on this GPS system so you guys can see what's going on here. Mill Creek Road. We just turned off of Big 
our boulevard. And we're gonna take this all the way. It's not all the way, it's maybe another couple blocks. Not much further, huh, babe? It's just past Aspen Glen, I believe. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, we are almost there, aren't we? I know it the the this road that we turned left on when you're coming out if you turn right it dead ends into a little like bed and breakfast place it was weird when i first moved up here we i entered over by bear mountain this road and an hour later i end up over here i thought i was in a completely different mountain range here we go so yeah, so Oak Knoll Lodge, this is where you would end up if you are ex- Oh babe, this is gonna be so scary. Cedar Lake Camp is up here too. My wife gets scared of doing stuff like this. Spooky. It is fun though, but yeah, it, it is a bit spooky. Also, it's spooky because I don't have like, I'm worried about my tires. <laughs> Everyone's like, why would you take your wife out there? I'm I know, sure. he doesn't even know how to change a tire. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know how to put gas in my car. Uh, I have to do those things. <laughs> <laughs> so Imagine, you, like, a Bigfoot comes out all crazy. Or just all not crazy. It would still be crazy. <laughs> We already have a little foot driving. Oh, she's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Big Bear weather and stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, this is a dang creepy road. There's some houses back here. You never know who's, what's going on in those, in, in those places. Oh, we got some cars coming, so we're going to let them pass us here. People hauling butt through here. It's fun to haul butt through here. What was he up to? He owns one of these homes and he's probably got 30 people in a dungeon here. So yeah, usually I would be charging a little bit more on these roads, but as I said, because of my tire, I just don't want to put us in jeopardy. If it was just me, you guys, you guys know I would totally go, but not with the wife in the car. We've got precious people in the vehicle. But yeah, as I said, eventually this will turn into a dirt road. Again, it's the 2N10. So the number two, the letter N, like north, and the number 10, 2N10. This is one of our most popular deep in the woods, back trail roads. And this is on the Snow Summit and Bear Mountain side of things. If people are thinking of Holcomb Valley, Holcomb is on the opposite end, or on the other side of the lake from where we're at right now. I did fill up our... Uh, oh, you scared me with that noise. I thought somebody was at the window going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was looking at that sign and it was it was saying uh, the road ends I'm but telling you guys, in both I directions. Get really out easily. Yeah, she does. But, you know, so do I. And we like to watch some, like, YouTube stuff on paranormal. Even though I don't believe in that stuff, I really want to believe. But it's like, all these videos that you watch online, that, like, that might seem like there could be something there, right? Are just the worst video footage ever. Like, 180p. Like, it's just the grainiest picture ever. You don't see any of these possibly like really good videos in 4k ever it's always the most grainy footage but yeah back here you guys there has to be some really spooky stuff because of uh i believe at, at one point these were native lands and then during the gold rush up here and when the mormons founded the area um, it, it, it at least founded it for our maps. Um, it, there was a lot of death up here. There's a big water tank right there. 
people probably growing that stuff out here. You never know. Get one good grow season out here. Also, keep your eyes peeled, you guys, for bears, bigfoots, and coyotes. Oh my. Alright, so where where we go? Okay, we're not going to Cedar Lake Camp. We're gonna stay on 2N10 right here. Okay, why is it all wet right here? Oh my gosh, babe, it's a mirage at nighttime. That's impossible. Sometimes I feel like when I'm driving on this road, I feel like I'm uh, on uh, Indiana Jones at Disneyland. I know that sounds pretty dumb, but it is 10 o'clock. Again, this is definitely a spooky area. There are some parts that are really spooky, especially when I first moved up here. There was a fire in 2014 back here, or 2013, and when I moved here in 2015, I drove back through here and there was this one area that was so eerie you guys it was so scary but I would drive back here at night by myself all the time because of my depression it's just <sighs> depression got a hold of me depression gotta break free that's a black flag song if I remember all right I do miss doing this channel the way that I used to which was play my punk rock music in the background every video I had some of my my favorite hip-hop as well but oh, this is number 69 right here where does that one go oh, oh look at this look at this pothole right here so babe if my tire light comes on we, we'll turn around okay I think you should get off and go walk around I think you should. I'm not scared. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how not scared you are, babe. <laughs> I would love to see this. I wouldn't let her do that, you guys. I think we should stop right here and you should walk 20 feet ahead. I don't think that's a smart idea. <laughs> okay, now we're on the dirt road, you guys. So now is when it's really going to start getting scurry. <laughs> going to get scurry. And we go up to about 8,000 feet elevation too, you guys. So you climb, you climb, and you climb. I even cleaned my windshield for this. So I hope you guys can tell that the windshield's a lot nicer. A lot nicer. I thought I saw a bear, but that wasn't a bear, it was just a rock. If I can be quiet for like five minutes on this drive, I could turn this into like a 12 hour uh, loop of uh, just night nighttime creepy driving to play in the background while you're trying to sleep. Cause this stuff helps me fall asleep. But you guys know me, I, I don't have the ability to shut up. I try, I really do sometimes, but it's very difficult and we got little cliffs on the edge here yeah. nothing, nothing big ever, you know but at points there are some really really steep parts here this car is parked all throughout here these teenagers are up to no good what are they doing back here Okay, I'm not gonna, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I was gonna say, wow, the road's not in bad condition right now. And the reason I didn't wanna say anything is because usually shortly after I make a comment like that, there'll be like the Grand Canyon worth driving over here. Okay, this is a really creepy area right here with these really tall, oh babe, we should have brought my brightest flashlight in the world and then got out of the car. Oh my gosh. You guys, I am a moron. I spent just about a thousand dollars on this flashlight. I can't can't remember what the brand is, but you, I promise you guys, you've never seen anything like it. 
no, he literally bought the sun. <laughs> no, guys, it's, he, it's, like, it's no joke. It and it turned it on and it, right, I mean, it's crazy. It's the sun. Where are you going? Uh, well, I heard there's a time warp if you go right through that sign. So I thought we, we might check that out. I know you guys can't see that, but maybe if you do, just zoom in on that. That's what, we're on the south shore. We're definitely not going on the 2N17. Hang on, guys. Oops. This is the 2N17 right there. We are going to the right. We're gonna stay on the 2N10. But yeah, this is this is a part of the drive that gets, it starts to get really creepy. We've been watching the Twilight Zone a lot, so. A lot. A lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Sorry, babe. Yeah. Like, the theme song plays every time Nick walks into the room. That's my theme song. It, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> kind of safer that there are, are people back here but at the same time I was telling my wife that you will get some really shady people not necessarily hiding out but just kind of you know getting away and, and maybe preying on uh... oh look at the size of that tree trunk right there oh my gosh guys that thing, that's, that thing is huge are you serious <clears throat> look at that thing my goodness afraid to get out because a bear is going to take me away. I don't think a bear wants someone who tastes like Big Mac. I think this is where that water is here. Okay, bear. Where these people are apart. So there's a natural little spigot out here, guys, that uh, I don't know if water comes from an aquifer underneath or if it comes from some somewhere, but it's fresh water. People come back here and actually fill up their gallons of their gallon jugs of water and just uh yeah it's as it's as clean as it gets not like our reverse osmosis system but it's great it's really good natural clean water and it, it comes out all year so my reverse osmosis system um long story short you know i, th I thought i was so cool because i have like zero ppm water like it's literally like but what I found out is that over time it can be bad for you because I'm sucking out all the nutrients from natural water, from natural rainwater. Even though I've got the cleanest, most pure water you can get, um, I'm not getting the vitamins and minerals. <laughs> so I was like, geez, that was a good waste of 400 bucks and all the extra filters. But it's okay. Yeah, usually I'm flying through here, you guys, so I want to make sure this is a really fun drive for all y'all. Oh my gosh. Are we going to be good right here, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Just got to go extra slow. This part of the road washed out a little bit, you can tell. We have a two inch lift on this bad boy, you guys, so. Again, when I first moved up here, I'd come back here all the time. And one time, um, my vehicle, my old vehicle, my Saturn, this little L200 was having issues. And through my auto insurance, I had the ability to rent a car for free for a whole day. So I rented like just a regular sports car and paid the $15 for, for the insurance and drove it back here. Obviously, I'm, I'm not trying to cause any damage or or, you know, be rude like that, like in the movie Jackass when they bring the, the, the rental car back on fire. <laughs> like, like they pull up and it's on fire. Um, but I wanted to go back here again for my depression. It's, it's, it was really paramount for me to, to get away. And for the first two years, I almost drove down the mountain maybe five times a week. This time of night and later, I would drive down to go get in and out. I would like drive down Highway 330 and then drive back up Highway 38 or drive down the backside of Highway 18 and come back up Highway 138 to the 18. Yep. 
people park it every, that looks like 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 bomb I got my train horn but I would never do that right now as much as I'm such a child and I think that would be kind of funny I know that would be extraordinarily rude and I would be super upset if someone did that to me while I'm out here trying to enjoy nature but again, guys, be careful out here if you're going to come drive back here at, at nighttime. I'm not even talking about being careful of the wild animals. Of course, be careful of the rattlesnakes, the bears, the mountain lions, all that good stuff. Be careful of the people. Um, I was going to bring some heat to take with us just in case, and I forgot to. Because again, if you get stuck out here, there's... At least I don't get cell phone service. As a matter of fact, do you have any cell phone service? Probably not, huh? Yeah. A little bit still? Okay. I paid for internet on, on my car, guys. So up here on the top left, you see the internet symbol. We have full range in the car. For 200 bucks for the whole year, you get the fastest internet that they offer. Unlimited. But after, I think, 200 or something gigs each month they slow it down which is it's 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 so not fair like why well, call it unlimited to full speed they just rip you off but it is what it is we don't have a choice unless we go out there and create our own internet and that's not going to happen attention to the road like I should be there's a good chance well it is nighttime so probably not a great chance but during the daytime you'll, you'll see like I guarantee you we'll see at least one or two snakes driving on this road I wish I was recording when my best friend came up a few days ago the day before I saw my first bear ever up here I saw my first snake and not just my first snake but my first rattlesnake up here so I thought that was gonna be my luck for a long time to come and then the next day I see a darn bear in front of my house so next is a mountain lion. That's what I'm looking for next. And I got her right here. Right, baby? She's my mountain lion. Oh, that looked like a mountain lion right there. What's that word? Pareidolia? Or um, something dahlia where you make faces out of different symbols or like... Uh, if you see a rock and it's shaped like a face, it, it's it's just you'll just you'll naturally just make it out to be a human face. Pareidolia, I think is the word. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know I talk a lot, so maybe. Hit, like hit the mute button for those of you who really do get annoyed with me hit the mute button and then play some like some like wind noise in the background like <sighs> while you're driving on this road I wish we could go back here when it's snowing but you can't although I know some people but yeah you're, you're not allowed to all the gates are closed in the winter time this year they were closed until June 30th, huh, babe? Back here on this side. Yeah. I think. I think, I think, I think. I think I talk pretty cat. Oh, I did, I did, I did think pretty cat. So this drive is going to take us probably at least an hour and change, you guys, because we're going so slow. But 
um, if we're lucky, we'll get all the way through. The further out we go, folks, the less vehicles you're gonna see. But so far, I think there's only been one or two little spots where, you know, you'd have to maneuver quite well to get your, your car through if you just have a regular car. But I think for the most part, your regular car will, will do just fine up here so far. And I would never say that, like, say something I didn't believe, because I don't want you guys to get stuck out here. I definitely don't. It would be very scary. Right now we're staying at the Vintage Inn. I'm staying there because I like to stay at all the hotels in town and that's one I haven't done. There's quite a few I, I still haven't done, but it's gonna be good to put on the playlist to show you guys what these places have to offer. I don't want you guys coming up here wasting your money. I want you guys to see what to expect before you get here. And just like most places, you see the pictures on the internet, it's a lot different in person. I, You know, same, same picture, same everything, but it's just, like the size is way different or just uh yeah so i want you guys to be able to see what you're getting yourselves into so we're staying at the vintage inn off of big bear boulevard right next door to big bear coffee roasting company so you can literally wake up each morning go say hi to chris my my good friend who owns big bear coffee roasting company and um, and just show that man an awful lot of love. He goes through dialysis three days a week. The guy doesn't complain about anything. He's just an amazing human being. Um, I, I look up to him like a father figure. Uh, and uh, again, I would never refer you guys to someone just because they're a friend. I don't want you guys wasting money. But remember, all my opinions are subjective. You know, some people like tomatoes, some people like tomatoes. So I just uh, want you guys to always bear that in mind that my opinion is very subjective. I don't want you to not try some place just because I didn't like it. I'm gonna give you my honest review at the risk of being, you know, lambasted by the owners of whatever company I am giving an honest opinion about. But again, this channel was never to try and make any money, never to try and, and really grow. That wasn't part of it. Um, it was to document my experience in Big Bear. And again, my depression comes right back into it. When I get depressed, doing these types of videos really makes me feel good because I can go back and watch them again. And um, yeah, it just, it, it really works wonders for me. And apparently for some of you as well. So I, I, I realized, hey, I'm onto something. And it's a passion, so I love doing this. It's a win-win no matter what. Yeah, we're, babe, we're going to go as far as it'll let us go. If it's closed, of course, we're going to turn around. 100%. But I'm not going to drive through a thing that, that says road stop. Babe, there's a long way to go. Like, a long way to go. Where did that come from, baby? What? Are you worried? assuming we're we'll see signs and if not then you know if we get there and it's closed at least we we did a nice long little cool cool drive right baby mm -hmm. and you guys will get to see this road from two different directions i guarantee you it's going to look way different coming back than it does going this way even though it's nighttime you'll still get a, a, a different perspective either direction which is pretty sweet Pretty sweet, Dave. Did you bring a... Mm -hmm. There it is. Thanks, babe. You guys are wondering what, what, what I'm being so sly about. It's my Zin pouches. So I had her open up the Zin container.
Stater Brothers. Not that many people there, but two of our YouTube friends are like, oh my gosh, it's you, Big Bear Weather Guy. I'm telling you guys, it is such a great feeling. And that happens to me every day now, everywhere I go. It's starting to happen to Rachel too. Pretty cool stuff. The cool thing is the love. Rachel's a very private person. And, you know, she's, she's, she, kind of struggles a little bit with the notoriety but you know what because you guys have been so sweet to her and so loving she is coming out of that shell more and more every single day um i'm very proud of you honey you really have really grown a lot in terms of letting yourself be loved by all these people and uh thank you for doing that because you've made this channel a lot better just having your presence. You're welcome, babe. Okay, we're at a fork in the road. What the fork in the road is going on here? I'm sure we go this way, right, babe? Felt right? Yep. Okay, we're coming into another creepy area. I'll try to be quiet through this creepy area. stay quiet just real quick real quick this road takes us right behind snow summit you guys and literally it, it takes you basically right behind snow summit at the very top so if you find a place to pull off and and park which isn't easy but to pull off literally a maybe a 10 minute hike at the most and you're at the very top of snow summit it's it's pretty wild to one of my favorite parts up here I will I will get out that looks like a, a, a headstone right there I thought that was a washing machine but it's a stump to a tree good evening at the tone Pacific Standard Time will be 10 11 up the deeper we go. 
So after this next snow season, I'm gonna have to put new regular tires on the car. I'm gonna push these tires as long, that hopefully I can make it to snow season, and then I'm gonna send them on their way. Uh, but next time, I, for my regular tires, I'm gonna get some all-terrain tires which they wear down a little faster than regular good tires also, but I think I'm gonna do that so we can have a little more fun back here on, on these roads. Cause yeah, I am scared with my wife in the car, especially that I'm not uh, bringing the heat. <laughs> what, babe? Okay. You all right? Did that scare you? So we got some pretty steep, well actually no, this isn't the steep part yet. We get to a part guys where if you go over the edge on the right hand side, you'll be falling down thousands of feet. And that's when you're right behind Snow Summit. You get a good view of that town where Christopher Dorner uh, was ended, thank, thank goodness, um, after he went on that rampage of all those brave people in blue. If you guys were wondering, we did fill up the gas tank. Right when I hit the play button or, or record button on this video, we had just finished putting in a full tank of gas. And I'm telling you what, if it gets scary and we get a flat tire or something, I'll still drive, I don't care. I got another car. Oh, look at the frog. You see the frog? It's a froggy. I haven't seen any frogs up here before, but that was a froggy. Babe, I'm scared to get out of the car. Babe, don't, don't be an idiot. He jumped, guys. You're a t uh, Where did he He was right there. That's not funny. You think you're funny. <laughs> but looks aren't everything, babe. I wish you guys could have seen him jump. I really don't. It was hilarious. No, she's, she is not, not a funny person. I thought it was the frog, but it was him jumping. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Babe, it's, it's not going in the drive. Are you serious? I, I'm serious. Huh, see, so got you there too. How about that? Just... Not, not as good as mine. No, but that was pretty good, babe. Yeah, you, you, you got me. You got me. When you did that, I was thinking about Jack from from The Shining when <laughs> when Delbert Grady was saying, and you must correct your wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> correct them. And I corrected them. That's a scary scene, man. It's more like for me, you must correct your husband. <laughs> yeah. Correct him. I don't like that. <laughs> Babe, you'd be a scary Delbert Grady for sure. So guys, this might be one of the last weeks you see the car. I'm shocked that... So regarding my car and selling my car, some people thought that, that there's like some ulterior motive or like some scam because I said I'd be willing to get rid of it for like... 12 grand and there literally is no scam <laughs> like I am like and that's just about <laughs> 3,500 less than the dealership offered me and I got a lot of different offers from different dealerships for it um, and I know I, I could easily get that especially with all my upgrades even though dealerships do not give you anything extra for the thousands you put into your car but some of the best upgrades you can have which might actually help you out are lifts. And I do have a two inch lift on here and it makes a huge difference. But uh, yeah, so I, I decided that since no one wanted to jump on the $12,000 offer, which shocks me, like, again, people thought I'm like, there's like some, some scam, like why would he be selling it for so cheap? There's gotta be some sort of ulterior motive. Um, there's not, <laughs> there's not. I just don't want to have to waste a whole day 
going down the mountain, dealing with the car dealership. Um, with my business, we we have a very small town. I can't lose any business on, a, on another frog. See it? Yeah. I can't lose any business on a, a permanent level. Yeah. And if I leave town for a whole day, that could be a possibility. Um, <coughs> I didn't want to have to have my wife miss work. Okay, guys, look. But some people will still say, but for three or four grand more, you don't want to miss just one day of work. Isn't that probably a ton? Oh, a, a field mouse. See him? What is that, babe? Do you see him? No. Right to the right. Right out your, your, your oh, door. Oh, it's a frog. Ugh, gross. Do you think frogs are gross? Oh, my God. I think anything with skin like that is gross. Oh, my gosh. I think they're so cute. Ugh. When I was little, I had no problem catching lizards and frogs and bugs, but when I got to be a teenager, all of that stuff just grossed me out. Road's getting trash now, guys. Yeah, my wife, guys, I'm not joking when I say, like, scream in a panic when a fly is right around her. Yeah, that's disgusting. I mean, yeah, they are they are gross, but, like, she she gets, like, into, like, a, like, like a hyperbolic fear. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm like that. I, I just, it's just the way I react. It's like, almost like my body takes control, and I have no control anymore. Get burrowed under my skin. It's a major mental. Okay, guys, the road's getting pretty nasty, but I'm sure it's just a small portion. It shouldn't be like this all the way. Well, we got a nice little drop off over here to the left, but nothing huge, maybe 50 feet. It still would be not fun, I'll tell you that. But yeah, my poor wife with these little animals just, or flies and stuff, just, oh, I feel so bad for her when she's going through it with them because, uh, yeah, because I love her and I don't want to see her suffer. The first couple times I, I, I saw it, it's, she scared the living daylights out of me because she <laughs> wigs out, but, uh, but poor thing. On one of our videos, when we did a walk along the lake, she saw a snake that I didn't see, so still I, I still hadn't seen my first snake yet. And the poor baby started crying, you guys. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, like she's, she's so adorable when she gets in. She's always adorable, but when she gets into that type of a, you know, those types of, of feelings, it's, it's like you're watching a five-year-old girl. It's, it's just, she's just so adorable. I love you, babe. You are an absolutely awesome person. And you really do have a lot of love for a lot of a whole lot of things out there. You would think they might have some signs. But worst case, you guys, as I said, we're just gonna have to we'll turn around when we can't go any further. And uh, keep on recording the whole way. It'll be a very long video, clearly, but uh, it might be pretty darn cool to get both ways. And coming back, I promise you, if we have to come back, I'm not going to do as much talking at all because I want you guys to be able to uh, enjoy it. Maybe what I'll tell you guys is I'll do a small clip at the beginning just to explain that, you know, I'm doing a lot of commentary for the drive out but if you want to just enjoy the drive without me running my mouth the whole time then fast forward to like the hour or at something point but I'll, I'll let you guys know my new car when I turn the headlights turn also so it's super cool not not this car do you hear it do you hear that the squeaking No, roll down your window. What is that? What's that squeaking sound? Are those my, I mean my foot's on the gas. 
so I don't think it's, it's my brakes. You don't hear all the squeaking out the left side? Hold on. It's not squeaking now, but it was a non-stop, like, mechanical squeak. So where we're at now in terms of being behind everything, we're probably, those of you who know our town, we're probably, um, I don't know, passing like Taco Bell area of Big Bear Boulevard, but way over here to the left. And we still have to go all the way to Moon Ridge. You, you would think it's, it's only like a what, like a 10, 15 mile ride at, at the very most babe right but because you can't go fast or at least with a tire like mine we can't go fast it, it'll take us a long time but again it's just so much fun and so beautiful and really scary at the same time you remember all the tadpoles we saw right like uh like a couple months ago in all those those little streams and small or big puddles and stuff, just tons. Apparently, yeah, we we're supposed to have quite the frog season, and I hadn't seen any frogs yet until this this drive. So we saw some frogs, and I have I I think I've seen a couple frogs the whole since I've lived Look, here. Here's yep. one. Don't run them over. I won't. Right in the middle. See, I'm just like blah blah blah. Hey, Mr. Frog. Can you guys see him right there? Oh, he's so cute, baby. Try to get yourself a light. Look at that cute little guy. I can't zoom in because I only have, I can't use my other hand, but it's all right. Thanks, babe. I appreciate you doing that. We got to see a flog. A fa 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 flog, fa 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 flog. Okay, you can turn it off now. Uh, babe, there's a fly in the car. Speaking of flies, guys, she's she's gonna freak out. She is get going it. to get it. Um, how am I supposed to get it? I don't know. Make it get out of here. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Find it. I can't even see it. Let me turn on the air. Maybe we can. Yeah, yeah maybe you can go out. I said shoe flyer. Uh, no, it's in here still. Why? Why? Get it out, oh please. my gosh, babe! Guys, guys, see, that's that's what we do with poor thing. Look. Oh, all right, babe. Oh, 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 okay, babe. Calm, calm your nerves. We'll we'll take care of it. It's just a fly, babe. Okay, but we're gonna get that 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 guy out of here. Okay, that's that's like. That's not even a fly. That's like a like a fruit type of a bug. No, it's literally a fly. All right. Well, I I I, I, I don't know what else I can do here. here. Okay. No, because I don't want to break stuff in, in in the car over a stupid little fly that's not going to hurt you, babe. But I will try my best to get the fly out of here. I wish we had a sunroof that would help. Um, okay, I saw one just leave. Okay, there's there's another one. What are we gonna do, babe? What are we gonna do? You? It's gone. I don't think so. That's not it. Okay. It, it's like it's a real. Fly. I heard the big fly. Yeah, these are just little tiny guys. If we could go fast, that would that would that would be best. I think there's one inside the car now. Just roll down your window, babe, so you can let him out. Oh my god, there's a lot. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Well well we gotta figure something out because what can we do about it? What what you tell me what we can do about it and I will do whatever I can to free you from the fly. I'll roll up my window. 
that I got the air on. Okay. You guys, this is... <laughs> Poor thing, man. You alright? Okay, open, close, open, close, open all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on two and ten today. Are you sure, baby? You, you think that's good? And with your flashlight, I'm having a really hard time seeing the road. All right, baby. So you just let me know. If you see it over here, let me know so I can roll down my window and get this little, get the dude out of here, okay? You all right? Are you sure, babe? You toughed it out good, babe. I'm proud of you. You really toughed it out good. Well, to be grammatically correct, well. Hey, do you guys know, do mountain lions prefer to go out at night or are they not nocturnal animals? Because I'm hoping that we get lucky enough to, to see one. You're right, babe? Yeah. Okay. Guarantee you we could never go to the rainforest, you guys. Alright, let's see here. When my mom and dad went many, many years ago to Brazil, when they slept in, in the bush, um, in this, like, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, they had like uh, over the whole bed from the top to the ground. Uh, they had mosquito nets and bug nets and stuff. And just everywhere you went, apparently, it was, it was like that everywhere. Because they are so unbelievably in mass quantity. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Oh, look at this part of the road here. Ding, 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 ding. Uh oh, I thought that was gonna be bad over here. Okay, this is a, a rough part. But we're gonna have to maneuver it like. Like this, so we're gonna have to turn into the ditch so we don't mess with my suspension. Oh, snake! It, is that a snake, babe? Where? Straight ahead in, in that little on the right hand side there, or no? Or is that just a branch? It, 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 it looked like a. Yeah, I, I think it's just a branch, but we're gonna go by it. Sorry. I didn't see anything. Then it probably wasn't. I'm probably pretty certain, oh, look at this. I'm, I'm probably pretty certain that if we saw, oh, this is gonna be nice. Wow, babe, this is not good. If we if we saw a ghost, my, my wife probably wouldn't be as scared. My wife is tough, you guys. She is super, super tough. Just like me, I have a fear of spiders, similar. Not where I'll be like, totally freaking out about it but it's it's true babe huh I, I i hate spiders and she knows it but she'll still ask me 
be your husband and come get this spider out of here. <laughs> I'm like, babe, babe, come on now. What type of husband do you think I am? Yeah, that was a scary part of the road back there. Thank goodness we have a lift on the vehicle because that, that could have been a little interesting. And we definitely don't want to get stuck in this mud here. Don't want to go over the edge either though. Okay, we're still riding with a full tank of unleaded. We got a full tank of unleaded. I feel like right now, babe. Mm -hmm. You know those scenes in in Step Brothers when Will's brother and his wife and son and daughter sing in the car, and they sing uh, that Guns N' Roses song. Well, I think we should sing. What song? Um, Ninety Nine Bottles. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at that. There's a, it's a field goal, a tree. It's a tree field goal. Hey, tree field goal. How you doing? Let me roll this back up. Let's turn on the AC, honey, so we don't overheat up in this bee. Wow, we've already been recording for 55 minutes, honey. It doesn't seem like it huh because it's just such a cool drive where your eyes are so so just focused on so much and i used a, sp a special uh like uh 30 frames per second i don't know if we go left i think we go left pretty sure we go left but 30 frames per second yeah we don't want to get lost here this is definitely a place we don't want to get lost um 30 frames allows us to see at nighttime a lot better if I would have used 60 FPS right now, it'd be a lot darker. So that's something that I've learned by the process of elimination using this iPhone to record. Are you glad that we did this, honey? Yeah. You sound a little skeptical about it. Are you? No, I'm. I just. I feel like it's going to be closed at the end. Oh, okay. Then, but why is that a problem? Okay, because the whole point was just to come back here and drive, right? Look at this. It looks like we're going up on the side of a racetrack. And if you said you've you've been there recently to the other side, then I think you're absolutely right, baby. But I wanted to drive through here. And again, worst case, we'll be just coming back recording as well and I will be shutting up for a big portion of the drive coming back if we can't can't get through I, I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to get through but uh, some of the views as we're going through here now of San Gorgonio are unbelievable you guys just so beautiful and my my regular phone works with or for the altimeter it works without having service. So let's see here. Uh, altimeter. Where's altimeter? Alt. Okay. Altimeter. I don't want meters. What do you think I am? The rest of the world? All right. Hold on. Settings. Imperial. Okay. So we are getting close to the 8,000 foot mark, you guys. 7,789.7 feet. And we are still climbing a bit. Keep in mind, there's a, since you, you, you can't come back here in the winter time, you won't really know, but I can assure you because this side of the mountain gets hit first before in, in Big Bear. And it dumps here. Like they get so much snow right here. Wow, I just felt like that was gonna, push us over on our side 
it, it's getting creepier and creepier. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. And my baby, you need to understand. My wife knows that I would never let anything hurt us. I've got all my golf clubs in here too, so, you know, if I have to tee off, then so be it. Anything, anything for my wife. I might not be the biggest guy in the world, but I got a, a little bit of courage. So if I remember correctly, we're coming into an area that, as I said, when I first moved up here, there was a big fire back here maybe a year or two before. And driving through that part where it was completely burned was, I mean, it was, it, it felt like there were probably spirits walking around, even though no one passed away from it. But it was just that type of a scary feeling. And I enjoy being put in those situations, those types of scary feelings if I'm confident I can get out you know and they've got so many little hiking offshoots so many other other little off-road areas through here one time I I took one of these side roads that I found and I and I decided to take it and there was no way I could turn around and I ended up driving down like a, it's a one lane steep as you can imagine um, all the way down to that town uh, Seven Oaks on this steepest road I've ever been on literally literally I was in tears at, at some points because when I was trying to uh, like not move at any really rate of speed at all my car was sliding a little bit and there was a huge cliff and I didn't know what to do and then there were a, a, a there were a couple cars or like big jeeps that came up um i think maybe two of them and then dirt bike riders and stuff and um yeah it was it was absolutely horrifying i can't remember what that particular road was called yeah look at this okay this is where it was burned before this area right here this is a creepy creepy area it's just uh people probably camping right now back here somewhere if, if they have the courage let me see if my internet if I'll be able to play something on the cars cars internet I'm assuming the car has to get service through the AT&T that the vehicle mm -hmm. internet works through yeah unfortunately I don't I was checking that in case of emergency but don't our newer iPhones babe have the ability to use like SOS mode like if you're in in, in an emergency you don't know okay I think that's what the SOS modes for obviously SOS is you know uh, you know if you're having issues in, in danger need assistance but I think that's something really good that Apple in, you know integrated in their system is uh, if you don't have any service you can still somehow reach out to emergency services I shouldn't talk like that I don't want to manifest anything it's just creepy back here So we were at 7,700 and change elevation. What do you think we're at now, babe? Take a nice wild guess. Seven, eight, five, five. Dang, you're close, babe. Seven, eight, three, three, three. So we are climbing still. As I said, we're probably gonna get up to about 8,000 feet. So this is where you start to see San Gorgonio straight ahead, kind of like in an angle right there. And thankfully there's a bright moon tonight too. So um, at least it's not a full moon or my, um, my, uh, what's that word? Uh, oh my gosh, babe, what is that? 
oh. go back here and start growing? No, no, babe. That's not a word. That's that's <laughs> that's that's <laughs> cheese. My superstitions would start to really kick in. So over here, I guess I was wrong. Oh wait, yeah, San, San Gorgonio views to the right here, straight ahead. But we're looking out over the lake and the other side. I can see there. That is a big cliff right here. This is Big Bear Lake here to the left, way out there. You can see the silhouette of the mountain on the other side of the lake. That's Holcomb Valley area. That is Holcomb Valley area. I'm so glad I spent all that time cleaning the windshield because it looks so good. I'm looking through the camera and it, the footage looks beautiful, babe. Make sure that we're in the proper setting here. Hey guys, I was talking to my wife earlier tonight about what I would have to do to set up a little business and what type of insurance I would have to get. How would I make it work to do something where I can, you know, drive you guys around in, in the wintertime instead of you guys using Uber or Lyft. You can just call me and, uh, you know, it would help out this channel also because I'd be earning more money and it would be absolutely great. Ooh, ooh, look at this. That's a deep, we gotta go really slow right here. Really slow right here. Whew. I did pretty well there. I'm very proud of myself. There's a couple of these. Do you have something? Nothing, I'm just trying to get these flies out of here. Not flies, but flying animals. Because I don't want you to have any issues, my love. start going down a little bit but I know we start going back up a little bit oh we gotta slow it Oop. slow it up here Okay, to the right, you'll be able to see San Gregorio. That silhouette right there, guys, that's San Gregorio over there. And we're about to start getting into the really scary cliff on the right-hand side. You don't want to make any mistakes. It's probably a big reason they don't let people back here in the wintertime is because uh, mistakes are easy to make up here in the wintertime. Take a look at this oh, it's so beautiful back there, guys. Ooh. Not fun. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's not fun. almost took my brand new car back here tonight guys I almost did but I didn't want to screw it up at all look at this just bright green stuff over here babe how cool does that look 
Oh, and it's a fence. <laughs> okay, there's a fence right there. Remember, guys, we started around, what, like a couple minutes before 10? And it's already, as you can see, 10.50. Got plenty of gas. Here's another little ooh. felt so much more comfortable if I had something to protect us in case, you know? I don't know what's all this in the road right here. Are these pine cows or something? We're gonna go around these bad boys. <laughs> hey, this is gonna be so cool to watch on the 85 inch screen. It's gonna be so cool to watch. I'll be posting the hotel video, you guys, in a couple days. Maybe I'll post the hotel video before I post this one. Look at that Paradolia. That looks like a Disney character, like a deer. See that? That rock right there? but it's so cool. We got a nice little drop off to the left. How's my driving so far, honey bunny? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. My wife's probably shocked at how slow I'm actually going. But We've been kind of not putting it off, but I've been putting this drive off because uh, I was worried about the uh, tire thing. It's not as bad as it sounds. I think there's just a nail in the tire and my tires are just about to the point where I need to change them, but they're not like dead yet. They're just, you know, this type of a road kind of concerns me a bit. Sketchy. Oh, scratch up the car, get less value for it. Ugh. But we gotta do what we gotta do to stay safe. And you guys are worth it. On this channel, you guys are worth it. I wanna show you guys the coolest and yeah, just the coolest stuff I can. Can you take that for a moment so I can plug it, this thing in? Plug it in, plug it in. Let's see here. Gotta charge the phone now. You know what? That's right, we had it on the GPS part, so we're just going to. Uh,
my screen froze. So bear with me a sec. We're gonna shut the car off and then start it again. Hang on. Let's turn that off. And then just to automatically that's great that's what I was trying to do but I think because I unplugged the phone it's not gonna give us as much in-depth GPS as you can see it's kind of messing with me a little bit here Okay, two and 10, just wanted to, for a minute I thought, did we maybe take a little, did we, you know, kind of go off onto a path that we shouldn't have? But I think we're good. Okay, this goes to Deer Group Campground. This road does not look like fun. I, I know you guys can't see it through here, but it does not look like fun. It looks pretty scary. It's uh, pretty cool. Okay, this area, if it's what I'm thinking, it's not. There's this, it, it may have been, there's a little area right up here where you can, it's it's like a big cul-de-sac that you can drive through. And uh, I, I'll i usually do like a 360 in that, that area. that all about man my heart kind of stopped for a second there so the wheels just were were spinning right there that was a bit scary how you doing man you okay all right if you get cold let me know We got the AC on since we can't have the windows down because of the flies. Oh, what am I gonna do here? Well, this is kind of sketchy. You know what? We're gonna have to. We're gonna hurdle or we're gonna take this. We're gonna go on either side of it. I hope this is the smart move. similar situation right here, baby. Again, you guys, this is just a little cool adventure. Um, we're probably, as my wife said, going to have to turn around up here in a little bit, which is okay. The original goal was to drive through one side and go to exit the other side, but it's probably not going to be a possibility. froggy in the middle of the road. Little froggy doggies, little woggy woggies. They're so froggy. You feeling froggy fool me? Yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, you guys. I am nervous. But we do have a couple really good friends who would probably drop everything right now. Even though it'd be so disrespectful of me to contact someone to 
come and like change a tire or something worst case but our friend Brian who takes us on those crazy off-road adventures where this car could never go um, I'm sure he would do that for us if necessary Worst case, I would have my wife stay stay with the car and lock the doors, and then I would just walk walk to the end to Moon Ridge where I'd get phone service and do what I got to do, or we would walk together. But I would want you to do whatever you want to do, babe. I keep on ducking my head to check out over here to see if the tire light comes on. I'm dreaming of your taquitos, babe. Those were amazing taquitos. That kind of sounded bad, doesn't it? But, I mean, those were perfect, perfectly fried. Like, everything about them was so good. For the tropical storm, you guys, my wife made, I think, like 30 or 35 taquitos, and uh, oh, they were wonderful. They were wonderful. Okay, we're getting into some really darker areas here now. that they would have some signs like way back there saying that this will not go through to the end so just be aware don't you think that would not be a bad idea if, if they had something like that tell you what my arms get tired of holding the camera for so long but just so you guys know a lot of you bought me as well as myself bought uh like uh holders for my iphone so i wouldn't have to hold it the only problem is that my arm is the best gimbal i've ever used when i even the really expensive ones that i spent like 75 bucks on and um when i'm driving since the iphones are pretty heavy it still shakes a little bit so it it ends up being a horrible looking video that's why i hold the camera the whole time because it's important to me to get good footage for y'all with as little um, shaking as humanly possible I, I really do the best i can scary stuff to the left. You definitely don't want to go over that area. I can't see. Hopefully there's nothing out here. Just so you guys know, when my check engine, or not check engine, the uh, the tire, uh, the tire thing pops on, um, since I haven't had my tire patched up, because there's got to be a nail or something, because after I fill it up with air, the tire warning comes off, and then it stays off for a good week or two, 
and then it comes back on but then uh, you know maybe sometimes a week after it comes back on then I'll I'll put air in the tire so I'm trying to just talk myself into being positive through this whole thing knowing that if it does come on we still have plenty of air we'll be good This is kind of near the uh, Pine Knot Trail, actually. I think this is it right here. Maybe. We'll be coming up to the Pine Knot Trail. As I said, I hiked that. It's on my hiking videos, you guys, with our friend Ray. Maybe two, two months ago or so. And uh, <clears throat> when we were only about three, three quarters of a mile from, from the very end or a, a half a mile from the very end and the very top, we had to cross this road. The, the Forest Service Road 2N10. So we like came out from the left over here and crossed over here. And yeah, I was so impressed with myself and so proud of myself for actually making it this far. I wanted to give up, but you guys inspire me and give me so much energy and strength. I didn't want to quit because I had you guys watching. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for being some, somewhat like personal trainers for me keeping me going. stop for a second and just kind of look around blink my eyes a bit so what's shocking to me is if because we're getting close if not already through where that big fire was a few years ago if that's the case and it wasn't that difficult then why would they have the gate still closed that's what would be shocking me so I'm assuming we're probably going to see like some stuff in the road that won't let us go through any further because it just doesn't make any sense to me. Do you have any ideas, honey bunny? No. No? Okay. Okay. I feel like we're getting closer to the Pine Knot Trail. can for me baby try to try to stay awake just so i'm not I'm a little bit hungry. are you a little bit hungry babe So where are we? I'm assuming we just go straight here. As you guys can see, oh, you know what? I think, no, that's not the, the Pine Knot Trail to the right. As I said, we came from this side. We hiked all the way down from where we basically started this drive and walked all the way up this darn mountain and then crossed this road and continued across to that side and went up to the very top of the hill. Ooh.
can see how much further we've got to go. Let me, uh, it says 21 minutes to my house, so that means we're obviously getting really close. But that's if we can go through. If not, we got to turn around and drive an hour and a half back, but that's okay. At that point, baby, I'm happy for you to fall asleep if you would like. I was just hoping you could try and stay awake the best you can for the heading there, the time of the drive. But of course, whatever my baby wants. Okay, this was actually, I believe, the area where the fire was. The first, uh, when I first moved here, the fire that was a couple years before. Yes, this is it. This is definitely it. This is what was really creepy. So I'm going to try to be quiet through this whole part. It's not big at all. have to cut back you guys I am gonna be going a little bit faster but um, not much faster Let's take a look at how high we are in elevation now. Wow, look at that. We're getting up there. 79, 
7,910 feet. And now I think we're getting close to the Pine Knot Trail. I know I keep saying that, but I'm pretty sure we're getting close. Let's see. Watch for flash floods, ex entering burned area, falling trees, falling rock, road closed. Okay, babe. All right, you were, you were correct. I'm glad they closed it here, even though we're almost to the end. So if we go straight, you guys, we would not be too far from the very end of this special road. Oh, man. You know, I gotta be very careful here and figure out how I'm gonna do this without jacking us up here. I know this is a, we can make a loop here, but we're not gonna, um, how am I gonna do this here? I have an idea. that the road has provided us here. Okay. I don't care if we do a 20 point turn here, babe. We're gonna keep us safe. Could you hold this on this side of the phone? Out that way? Because I'm going to go behind the car for a moment. Yeah, just so we don't hit any buttons. Thanks, baby case. Then as I said, you guys, from this point on, uh, I'm gonna kind of add up the time. So give me a second, I'm gonna stop the camera for a moment. Hang on. All right, guys, we just made that turn around. And as I said, going back, I'm gonna try to not talk as much to give it more of a, I don't know, a creepy, creepier feeling. But yeah, we made it as far as we could possibly go because of the fires. And we pretty much made it to maybe another seven to 10 minutes, we would have made it to the very end. So we accomplished a lot of this road. Please enjoy the rest of the video and uh, say hi, baby. <laughs> look, look at how adorable she is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How did I get so lucky? All right, baby. Let's do this, guys, let's do this. Only time I'll really talk is if I see any animals, you guys, or stuff that I didn't really mention coming through. But I think I talked about everything, including every encyclopedia ever written, every word in the dictionary, because you guys know I talk. So we're gonna try not to talk and just drive a little bit faster. you feel a little better it's making me feel a little better that you know that we know we can make it back there were there's a few tough parts of this road but because of our lift and my experience we we did okay
drop you off at, at, at the hotel or do you want to come back to the house with me to get the upload started all right and then i'll let the doggies out and stuff like that right? okay i really want you to come back with me though but okay for real okay baby thank you i'm gonna be asleep well babe i, I don't want to bug you like that then you can you can definitely crash out then it's totally cool charger in here maybe? Huh? Grab that bad boy baby. a couple minutes of the video I think at the most because it wasn't recording but that's okay again here I go to try and shut my mouth so we can enjoy as my beautiful sleeping beauty goes to sleep 
but every bump that I hit is gonna frustrate my gorgeous wife, so I'll try to be as careful as I can. Yes, it has to stay open. We're only gonna keep it open for 10 or 15 minutes though, okay, baby? There's no way we'd be going this slow, babe. No way. As I said, I'm I, I'm not gonna get just regular good tires for my non-snow tires. We're gonna get um, all-terrain tires for my not driving through snow time of the year.
she 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 thought it was beautiful. We came in the middle of the day though. She thought it was it was it was, it was beautiful. We also brought my nanny who helped raise me, Minerva Salazar. She was here visiting from Kansas and uh, she was horrified. And I felt so bad because I, I got frustrated with her for like being so, so terrified. Like I felt so bad. She's such an angel of, of a person who, as I said, helped raise me because my mom and dad were always working. And God, God bless her. She, you know, I speak Spanish because of her when she was helping us out, since my mom speaks fluent Spanish, um, we never, never really spoke any English. And so as a, a little tyke, I grew up learning English and Spanish at the same time. What, what a privilege, you know, what a privilege. I used to be able to speak really, really good French. I still have a little bit of French left, but not much. And I used to be able to speak pretty good Italian. All of these when I was 10 years old and younger. I was able to do sign language really well. I, I could do Morse code, like, but I went to a private school for most of my life and uh, it was just a killer education. Not that you can't get a killer education in public school, you certainly can, but yeah, I was very, very, very fortunate. My parents came from nothing and they worked their butts off to be able to give their kids everything. And now they don't have anything. So what I'm doing is just taking another look at this. I think we can pull this off over here. Ooh. Five minutes, babe. Well, we can shut the center console, okay? Am I beautiful? All right, we're starting to get back into the pretty rough part where I got stuck a couple times, if you guys remember, coming through. Again, if I didn't have such a bad tire, we would have never been stuck because I would have had a little more courage going through all this stuff. Not with precious cargo in the vehicle. I will not do that. All right. I think this is the one I drove over the center of the thing. Oh, please be okay again. Please be okay again. Please be okay again.
drove over the center of it, and I think that's what we did too. But we're gonna just do this. Oh no. I don't wanna get too close to the edge with my baby right there. Okay, we made it through another difficult part. We got a few more coming and then we'll be good.
guys about it. I mean, even if, if you guys believe me, like you just you don't have any clue. In the winter time, during the snowstorm, I think we went out and showed you guys how bright the flashlight was. still watching at this point it's a long video that would be awesome if you guys were, were able to, to capture some cool stuff and tell me about it beautiful baby guys she is sound asleep this angel oh baby no can you, can you check them to make sure they're okay are, are you sure i accidentally broke her last pair of brand new glasses yet like brand new and we were both devastated because you know we work hard but it's you know we can barely get bills paid but anything extra is pretty much out of the question so when I broke them I felt so bad and we are going to be getting through this a lot faster than coming you guys chased which way do we go this isn't good 
to you. Science is everything. Let me back it up. Two and ten. Where? That way? You can see that, babe? Mm -hmm. Is that what that says at, at the bottom there? Okay. Babe, thank you so much because I was going to go left there. If I was alone, you guys, this would be a major problem. My wife's asleep and she still knows the directions better than me being awake. Thanks, honey. It is going to be a bit bumpy, so please try not to get frustrated with me, my darling. Nothing I can do about that. Just as a lot of you, you guys probably don't need to change change your underwear until you're actually like rolling down the mountain. <laughs> I didn't know that's what it took to get him to change his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she woke up for that, guys. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That was really darn good. I mean, you did great. You, you, you were like under a demonic spell coming out of your sleep to just absolutely destroy me. <laughs> you woke me up. <laughs> no, babe. No, babe. With the change of underwear going on. I was like, huh, what? Change of underwear? <laughs> she's like, I, I, I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a year. <laughs> and then she woke up, she's like, oh, it was a dream. <laughs> oh. That was scary right there, too. Well, we, we, we're, we only have a couple more pretty nasty parts of the road. The rest of the time, it's going to be pretty good. So as I said, that's why we're driving a little bit faster going back. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to do anything to put my beautiful bride in danger, you guys. So do not worry. It looks a lot faster on the camera than it does when you see how fast we're actually going. 15. At, at our high top speed. 15. Those of you still watching, I don't know if you've ever heard my my French, but I'll I'll say something to you in French. I, I might have said this exact thing before, but je promets fidélité au drapeau des États-Unis d'Amérique qui représente wait qui a a république présent une nation sous Dieu, il est visible avec liberté et justice pour tous. 
I know I hacked it up a little bit because it's been so many years, but that's some of my French. I wish my baby wasn't sleeping though because I know a lot of you guys love listening to her. She is funny. She's she's a I'm funny. Slightly a week. Oh, you're, oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's a little hard to sleep with with me you. talking and the car shaking like crazy. No, just the talking. No, 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 just the talking. Dang, dang, dang. No, really, the car is like jolting from side to side, so it's a little hard to sleep. But right here, years ago. I almost got stuck in the snow because when, um, I came back here. I did one of my videos. It was it was either right before they closed the roads for the season or right after they 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 reopened them. We had a massive snowstorm, and I wanted to do a video back here because, as I told you guys, the roads closed in the winter time, so you never get to be back here for the snow. And I saw my chance, and I let three people know where I was going. I had all my stuff in, in the car for emergencies. Full tank of gas like usual. Um, yeah, or wait, actually that, <laughs> that may have been the trip when I was about right here telling you guys that I don't get any cell phone service. I didn't let anyone know where I'm going. I don't have any safety equipment. Um, if we get stuck, we're in big, big trouble. And that drive went against everything that I've always told you guys about. The main rules that you need to follow to keep yourself safe. Just real quick, what I do is usually when I'm gonna be doing something like this, especially by myself, I'll let a couple people know, two or three people, where I'm going, when to expect me, like when to expect to hear from me. And if they don't hear from me within like 20 to 30 minutes, try to get a hold of me then uh, if you still don't hear from me, then start initiating the emergency phone calls. Um, also, you wanna have enough warm clothes or well, blankets and stuff like that. Not necessarily the, um, like a bunch of cha changes of clothes, but have the proper clothing for when you're on these roads. Not this one, but others that have snow on them that are very remote, no cell phone service. Just make sure that you have enough warm clothing in case you do have to walk and abandon your vehicle. Um, let's see, food and water. I always say, even if you're going out for a day trip or just a couple hour trip, I mean, I, I would have a week's worth of food and water in, in your car. This one here, as I said, it's about like a, I don't know, 12 to 15 mile road from one end to the other. Obviously there's a lot of other roads that you can get to on this dirt road to other dirt roads that take you just like they're horrible dirt roads they're really really bad or else i would take them more often um but yeah you're not going to be too far but the snow gets really deep out here um even in one snowstorm so you could have like a, a foot of snow for us that's pretty darn deep from one of our first snowstorms before the roads closed and end up stuck but you'd only have to walk maybe i don't know at the worst point like six or seven miles but you're on the road so you know where you need to go um, it's not like you're lost in the middle of the woods in an emergency I, I mean you are but you're on the road so just follow the really messed up dirt road follow 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 the really messed up dirty road road um yeah as i said blankets um forgetting some other stuff but the most important one is there there those are all equally important guys if you have extra well i was talking about it earlier in the video the sos on our iphones and probably those those galaxy phones also because once one company does something the other company does it um just make sure that you know that you can use your SOS for emergencies when you don't have any phone service. At least that's the, the impression I'm under. We should actually probably try it, babe. Like, uh, um, you know, it is midnight. They're, 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 I don't know. It might not be 
you're not supposed to call unless it's an emergency. But how are you supposed to test these things out to see if the SOS will actually work? I'm an SOB calling to check out the SOS. <laughs> Babe, you're a comedian calling. <laughs> you are. Seriously. We're going to go talk to Mitzi Shore <laughs> at the comedy store and, and get you on stage, babe. <laughs> she really does have her moments a lot, you guys. She, she can be so funny. And when we're both on one, in terms of like just our laughing sessions then it can be pretty awesome. I love trying to just have everyone rolling in my daily life. Laughter is such a good, good cure for so much out there. I know it sounds super cliche and boring and to some, but I'm telling you what, like it's, it's incredible. It has done so much for me. All right, I said I would shut up a lot on this drive and I haven't really done that so let me shut it <coughs> oh didn't like hearing that start seeing a car that's <coughs> what did that sign say right there i think it says 2, two and 10. i thought it said 2 and 11. But let's just oh no that's lodgepole pine so we don't want to go this way we're just going to take a look at that sign just to make sure 2 and 11. okay 2 and 11. yeah there's 2N09, there's 2N10, which is what we're on right now. Yeah. That have... looks like a 2N1 to me. It is, 2N11, 2N11, yeah. Do you, do you wanna, here, let me just show you. Hopefully I won't drive over the edge here. You were probably being blocked, huh? By by one of these signs to be able to see the one on the right. Man, our GPS is really struggling here. All right, shh, Nick, be quiet. Cliff to the left, junk to the right. We're gonna make it out of this place tonight. Even if something happens, despite, I'm not afraid to have to fight for your right to drive. <laughs> Driving down the two-way town, it's getting kind of scary. My back is sticking up and I'm feeling mighty hairy. You gotta fight for your right to drive to a town. Alright, I said I'll shut up, I'll try it.
magic card. No one knows that it's magic that it it becomes invisible when you're about to drive through and any animals like deers and bears and lions, oh my. Lions and deer and bears, oh my. It's really weird. When we keep on making these like little turns on these corners, I keep on feeling like I'm seeing a human shape form around the corner. Creepy. On most of these turns, yeah, it's definitely creepy. It's creeping me out for sure. It's like I have to lean ahead of the turn to see. But it's not one. It's not one. No, but it but it's like the same visual I'm having in just about every every turn. Like once we go right around here, it'll be oh wow, look at that. I thought I was going right. What a trip. Try to point out if that was Bob, so we can. It was. For sure. Yes, a hundred percent. Was it him? Well, if we see the light on in their car, we're gonna stop to say hi. Positive. Positive, positive vibrations. Positive vibrations, yeah. I got to channel me one Bob Marley. channel him from my heart. And again, something we'll be looking for, guys, is as soon as we start seeing the first cars on the side, in these like makeshift parking spaces so they can camp as soon as we start seeing that that mentally reminds me that we're getting a lot well, you know a lot closer to more civilization our cell phones are probably going to be working a little better and it's just one of those subconscious feelings after the whole conscious part of it that make me feel a lot better knowing that we're just about out even though we still got a ways to go super fast fast speed you guys I know through the camera it looks like I'm going like 217,300 miles an hour but I'm really not right now we're going 18 and stuff like that who like to enjoy uh, you know I can't really talk about it on the channel but we get a lot of people up here who uh, tripping zipping dripping ammunition I don't have to say it's mighty dangerous that stuff is just dangerous anyway I, I really hope you guys don't do those types of things because in these wilderness areas you can I've heard you can wander off and not just I mean you, it could just be a really awful time and I don't want any of you to have a bad time but a lot of people do come up here to do that which is really odd
sorry, babe. I, my poor baby. Always something with my poor little angel. <laughs> right, honey? <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, babe, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Guys, isn't she just? Isn't she such an awesome trooper? Just hanging out, helping us. You know, she, again, she's a big part of this channel. No way. He saw a bat. I Was there a baseball next to it? Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet, babe. Was it a Louisville slugger? Or was it one of those flying bats? So it's not out of the beaten path. It takes you out of the beaten path, but it's it's a spectacular, exciting, at nighttime, very scary, very spooky. It, it feels like a paranormal place. So just, uh, but daytime, I'm telling you what, you guys, especially after a rainstorm or a big thunderstorm, that next day, if we don't have any clouds, it's the... It is so crystal clear and all the views you can see of San Gorgonio and even all the way down to the bottom in a very few remote spots, you can actually see all the way down to like like the Ucaipa area. And if it's clear enough, you can see all the way to the beach from this little tiny little, I don't know, tube. Is that them? Mm -hmm. Look, there's the walker. Oh yeah. They walk. They walk down. Hey, Bob! Really? <laughs> I hope that didn't scare me. He's gonna be like, who the heck? Babe, I didn't even think about that. That probably, uh, that probably would have freaked us out if like, we're sound asleep in the middle of nowhere and, and we hear someone call our name. But that was them. Good eye, I sweetheart. I know, but you probably scared the crap out of him. Now. I didn't, you know what? I should probably just text him. Uh, no. no. Jinx, you owe me a Sprite, babe. Hopefully he's a... Uh, deep sleeper and didn't hear anything. But yeah, great eye, babe. So Bob is a, a really good friend. He's he's in his mid sixties. My stomach, slow down. Babe, my stomach so, is really hurting. Oh, okay, babe. I'll slow down. And Bob used to work work for me. He's, he's a really neat, neat dude. He's like, sorry, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm literally going, you saw me slow down big time. We're going six miles an hour. The guy's just a sweet, sweet, sweet dude, a really kind-hearted soul. It's a little bit like a, like a father figure up here for me. guys so it's gonna take a lot longer now because we got to drive slow but we don't want my wife to not be feeling good so <laughs> um, we're like catching flight off wheels over there flight off wheels <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
this must be the Napoleon era or area of this drive because I think I was talking about the same thing right about here driving out. Here's that huge tree, that double tree. Look at that. It looks fake, you guys. That looks like a fake tree. It's just so cool. You okay, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're still going quite a bit slower for my angel. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me slow down a little bit more. Baby, sit your way, can you do me a favor? Can you whip out one of these Zins, please? Thanks, baby. Well, he was gonna ask me to babe, do stop, babe, stop, please. <laughs> There's women and children that watch, okay? <laughs> You're so inappropriate. <laughs> I was gonna tell you that. <laughs> I know we're in a dark forest, but geez. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, babe. People who don't laugh at that, who would get offended by that, like, you know what? That's This isn't the right channel for you. Because we are not offensive people. We, you know, some, some of our jokes may push cross, not cross the line, but just lean up against it a little bit. But I mean, we will never be grotesque or horrible like that. So yeah, we do have a sense of humor, and as I said, if your sense of humor doesn't encompass what I just, what we just said, not even knowing that we said it, just joking, and then playing on the joke, then seriously, this is probably not the right place for you. I'm not here to offend anybody. I just want, I just want us to all have a good time and laugh, you know? You guys are my brothers and sisters. You guys are everything to me. I'm so grateful to have each and every single one of you in my life. I'm the luckiest, like, luckiest guy ever. I get you guys, I get my wife. It's a pretty darn good thing. just exited the dirt road which means that we're getting a lot closer to the very end Ooh, we're already at the end oh it's stunning oh, oh babe sorry 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 look at this huge one how did we maneuver this one before i think we just went right over it didn't we i think coming coming in you guys when we saw that when i saw that one at the start here i was like oh no <laughs> I, hope, I, hope, I hope that's not a th sign of things to come. There were some really horrible spots, but you really think I did okay, honey? Uh, going over there, yes, but on the way back, you went way too fast, and I see you like hurt my stomach. Well, I didn't go way too fast. Way you just too have fast. a very way delicate fast. stomach. It's going like 2,355 miles. It was 273,562. <laughs> All right, get it right, babe. It's magic. <laughs> Took you a second, babe, but you got it. <laughs> What's the first funny joke you've said all year, babe? Let's 
it's uh you want to walk babe <laughs> all right so what we were trying to accomplish is get to the other side where this gate it looks just like it but they stopped us probably three quarters of a mile to a mile short and as i said from here um we're not at the very end yet we're just in like out of the san bernardino national Forest. well this whole thing san bernardino national forest but the like deeper more protected area so i wanted to show you guys literally how how far the village is just so you guys can see how close to downtown you really are i can't even see around this corner that's crazy you tired not really because i've been just like white knuckling a lot of this drive <laughs> As I said, because I have you in here, I, I, I gotta be extra cautious. And so far, we made it, guys. Done with the hardest part of Forest Service Road 2N10. And then you're coming back with me, right, babe? I'm not gonna upload this video, I'm gonna upload the hotel video. that going for tomorrow and then maybe two days later when we check out I'll upload this video okay baby oh, okay. maybe like Friday so a lot of people will have the chance to watch it or play it while you're going to sleep again we appreciate you guys like and subscribe share these videos um, help us out we you guys do know how hard we work especially those who, who've been watching a while it's, uh, we're very, very consistent. Um, I try to respond also to every single comment. I, what you see is what you get when it comes to me, the channel, and the recording. Um, there's not much editing because I really want you guys to see exactly what's happening. And um, if something went wrong, I want you to see that because this channel is just about being authentic and organic, you know? still on the 2N10 from that gate it's still a little bit of a drive so my wife thought we were already done but no there's, there's not much left but there's still a decent amount left I think we were already done. right yeah so this part years back had huge huge potholes on the left and right side so they did a good job uh, for the most part taking care of that as I told you guys this is the first time I've been on the road since last last season I believe and it was I think the beginning so it, it's been over a year but this is my favorite off-roading adventure in Big Bear and it's a lot of yours as well because of uh, the fact that it's it's one of our most crowded if not most crowded um, trail when it comes to the driving or or even hiking along it okay so we're at the end now where the stop sign is and what and we're on Mill Creek as I said when we drove in if you go straight across if you're really tired and blah 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 you can go stay at Oak Knoll Lodge which would be pretty awesome so we're turning on Mill Creek again I want you guys to see how close we are to everything on that road it feels like you are so far away I know we did this coming up here we started it from the village but that's where I want to finish it that was just a huge bottle babe. I saw it last second I, I apologize Yeah, it's a bit older, man. 
bit older. So now we are at Big Bear Boulevard. Just to the left a little bit is Azteca Mexican food, Azteca Grill, um, Lakeview Market. And now we are coming up to the place for you guys to go sledding and um, bob sledding. And there's a roller coaster here called the Mine Shaft Coaster. It's a lot of fun. I have a couple videos of the Mine Shaft so you guys can ride with me. Check it out before you come up here. It's in my playlist. If not on my channel, just type in Mine Shaft. M I N E S H A F T, and my mine shaft adventures will pop up. All right, guys, so we're almost to the village. For a Monday, there's a lot of, a lot of people in these hotels, babe, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Tomorrow, instead of Indian food, we, we might have to get. Uh, Taco Tuesday at Azteca Grill. Get us some tacos for the grill. What do you think? Mm -hmm. All right, and then again, right here in this shopping center, the parking lot, that's where the, the new Tesla chargers are right there. Right next to the liquor store and in the same shopping center as, uh, what's that? Village Pizza, Village Pizza, I tell you. All right, guys, so this video is going to be over shortly. Once again, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for enjoying what we do. We love making these videos. We love responding to you guys. Um, I just love having you guys in my life. So uh, thank you again for everything. And again, if, if you guys would help us out and like and subscribe, it really is important, you guys. It, it's not just being thrown out there for nothing. I used to think it didn't mean anything. I, but obviously, I realized once I did a lot of research why people ask so much because it really is important to our growth. Um, and as I said, I hope we deserve it. I, we don't want to just get something for nothing. We wanted to have earned it. Jack in the crack. Let me show you where the Himalayan is, guys. It was really tasty. So, left here, this is where we're going anywhere. Himalayan is my new favorite Indian food in town. Okay, so right here, it's this big old building. They even have a smoke shop in there. They have a lounge. It's, it's a really, really, really great place. If I ate there for the first time yesterday, guys, after eight and a half years living here. It's just ridiculous that it took me that long. Love you guys a lot. Do you want to say goodbye, my my beautiful baby? Bye, guys. Have a good night. And thank you for hanging out with us again. Um, my wife is very, very tired. And so sleepy. So sleepy. So sleepy. But I'm hungry too. She's hungry too. All right. Well, we'll have to get her some food in a moment. But in the meantime, again, thank you guys for everything. We always have a wonderful time with you guys in our lives. Um, Thanks again. Have a wonderful evening. Like, subscribe, and we will talk to you later. It is technically August 29th now, 2023, because this is the tone or the time. And just let me show you one last thing. I'm sorry. I, I want you guys to see where we're at on the boulevard in Big Bear. Come on. I don't want that up there. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're driving up on Big Bear Boulevard right there, you can see. So pretty darn close to everything. I think you guys would really enjoy that, that ride. If you have any questions before taking it or anything, just please hit me up. I always respond to you guys. I, I rarely ever miss a single comment. So I'm here for you guys. I'm here to help you guys out and give you guys the best experience you could possibly have up here. So thank you again for everything, and we love you a lot for the hundredth time. Talk to you later. Bye.